Hey, this is Josh Hewitt from Top Form Fitness, and these are my training progressions for the standing ab wheel rollout. First of all, if you're still a beginner, you want to start out with performing the plank exercise, either both legs or single leg, and do this very consistently, frequently during the week to develop that uh, core stability, the base of core stability. Then you want to progress to doing that same plank exercise on a stability ball. The progression from this would be to do hand walkouts. So from a standing position, touch the ground close to your feet, keeping your legs as straight as you can and walk out to your complete lying down the ground and walk yourself back up to a standing position. Now when you do ab wheel rollouts, be careful not to stick your butt back and bend at the hips. Keep your, your core tight, almost like you're moving out into a plank position and then slowly increase your range of motion with the wheel gradually working yourself down lower over the, over the period of several workouts until you can extend yourself all the way down to the ground. So you should progressively work on this. Uh, you shouldn't feel any pain in your lower back. You should feel all the tension in through your, your core and then in through the uh, stabilizing through the shoulders and arms. This one is a band assisted or a tubing assisted ab wheel rollout. This allows you to perform full ab wheel rollout from the feet but you get some assistance from the band. Now you can loop this over a rack or an overhead bar or you can get a partner to assist you by holding it behind you. So what I'm going to use today is putting the band around a chin-up bar and then around my waist. Keep your core strongly engaged during the entire movement and slowly lower yourself out to complete extension so that either your forehead or your chest almost touches the floor. You don't want to completely touch down so that you relax at the bottom. Keep your, your muscles taut during the entire exercise. Eccentric standing ab wheel rollouts is another great progression. Simply perform the eccentric or lowering phase of the exercise slowly and under control, trying to get to full extension, chest touching the floor, and then bring yourself back to the start position from the knees. So you're basically performing a standing ab wheel rollout on the way down and the kneeling ab rollout on the way back in. Now what I've set up here is a plank. I've got simply a piece of two by 10, plank which I nailed a piece of wood to the top and I'm using it on my power rack on the spotting bars so that I've braced it at a level that I can handle performing full ab wheel rollouts from. And what I'm going to do is progress over the next few weeks to gradually lowering the incline until I can perform a full ab wheel rollout parallel to the floor. So let's check it out. This is just a quick video to show you an exercise I've been using as part of my warm-up before deadlifting to help engage my lats.